Hi there, Andrew here. Today I'd like to teach you how to find the molar mass of potassium dichromate. It's a simple process. I've created a nice little table to help us out. Bam. So the first thing is I want to write down the elements we see. So we see potassium, we see chromium, and we see oxygen. Next is then to write down the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So we have two atoms of potassium, two atoms of chromium, and seven atoms of oxygen. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of that particular element. <clears throat> the mass is found on the table, so here you go. Potassium is 39.1, chromium is 52, and oxygen is 16. So those are the masses we are going to write down. So potassium was 39, 39.10, chromium is 52, and then oxygen was going to be 16. Easy enough. Then we're going to now multiply the row on across to find the total mass of the element. All right, so the total mass of potassium here is going to be 78.20. Total mass of chromium is going to be 104. And then the total mass of oxygen will be 112. 112. Now, to find the total mass of the entire compound, all we simply got to do is add up this entire column together, uh, together right? So 294, 294.20. And that is the molar mass of potassium dichromate. Units there are in gram per mole. That's all there is to it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Be well.